Today, I wanted to show you how I put together these external storage devices for things like music, photos, videos, games, really anything that I just don't have room for or for stuff that I need access to on multiple phones. This starts with the enclosure, which you can see here, and then there's the NVMe drive to go along with it. This is a two terabyte setup that I was able to put together for right around $100. Inside the box, we have the enclosure itself. It has a small USB cable that comes along with it, which has a USB-C connector on both ends. This one even has a useful little adapter for those who need to connect it to a USB-A port. These are the little pegs that are supposed to keep the drive in place. And I've noticed that these can be really cheap if you opt for one of the more affordable enclosures like I have here. Then we have our user manuals and the NVMe thermal pad for those who feel the need to use one. I have not applied this one to mine, but you may want to do this depending on your usage with the device or the quality of the drive itself. Either way, it's nice to have, but definitely not something that everyone needs. This specific enclosure, which I'll be sure to have linked down below, it has a lock switch at the bottom. And this is how you actually take the drive slide out. And then it slides right back in. Here we have the drive that I got specifically for this video. It is on the affordable side, but it's really affordable for the actual capacity, which is two terabytes. And the reviews are decent, so let's hope that it holds up. You install the drive into the enclosure like this, making sure to line up the slots here, and then it just snaps in really as you push in the connectors. Then we're going to use one of those pegs to keep the drive in place and seated in a secure position. These can take a bit of effort to push into place. It's really just gonna depend on the quality of the enclosure itself though. Then when you have the drive in, we can slide the pieces back together and plug the USB cable that came with it so that we can do some testing. I'm using Solid Explorer here, but just about any file manager application will work as long as it supports external storage devices like micro SD card slots. It's going to be best to plug the device in and then open up the app. But other than that, it's going to be a plug and play experience. Android or the application itself can format the drive for the first time and then you can use it just like you would expect. Truly, a plug and play experience. And there we have it. A two terabyte external drive for right around $100. And the best part about this setup is that when the drive dies, we can just swap it out for a new one. Or when the electronics of the enclosure itself dies, we can replace it with another one. There's no need to throw the whole thing away and no need to pay a premium for both pieces when only one of them has fizzled out. I hope this little video has been helpful for some of you folks out there. It isn't that hard to put one of these together and I like the idea of having a few NVMe drives laying around for various storage needs, like one to store all of my music and then one to store all of my edited videos, stuff like that. But let me know what you would keep on a device like this down in the comment section below. And I'll see you back here in the next one.